With Ron Tugnett of the Campfield 73s, uh, Ron, uh, 2016 and early bits of two, 2017, how's it been? It's been good. Um, you know, we, we kind of had a tough time going into the break and we had lost like five or six in a row and a lot of injuries and, and last year it was the complete opposite. We went into the break not wanting a break at all, but I think the break was good for us. Um, bodies were healthy, everyone's come back refreshed. Uh, the mindset's good, and um, you know we're ready for a, a good, good finish to the season. I know last uh, last year the uh, it was extra time that you had a hard time with. Has that been an issue that year, this year, or you've just dealt with that? No, we just dealt with it. It's just um, you know I think that we're um, we're a good hockey team. We're excited about our group, but um, you know we had a nice break. We had a good long break, and it's nice for the the brains to kind of you know be able. to relax and forget about hockey for a while but the guys are excited to be back I know you told me before you were pretty conscientious uh, and committed to your your guys to your players and if you didn't have to make any unnecessary moves uh, you wouldn't do so you certainly stood to your word on that and uh, and as a result uh, you've got a number of players here that have come through your system and on to D1 uh, commits something you got them you must be very very proud of I mean Quinn Wickers and Bobby Dow and I mean your son as well and uh, Owen Guy um, you know so list goes on uh, Jake Godet um, these are all local homegrown players that have played the minor hockey through our systems and to, to be able to move them on and be local guys like they have, uh, we show great pride in that. I think all those guys played for us as 16, 17-year-olds, and they played a lot. It wasn't where they were in the stands. Uh, you know, they, they took their lumps, and, and they learned how to play in the league and play against bigger, stronger guys, and, and, there, and therefore they've uh, been able to find a way to, to move on and play higher levels, and I couldn't be prouder. What elements of the game do you really need to improve on? As you say, you move into, I mean, kind of a rough going into the break in December. Everybody's going to have a month, but what area do you really want to see some significant improvement? I mean, I mean, obviously wins, but... Yeah, I think uh, it's just the fine-tuning stuff. I think we have the personnel now. I'm pretty comfortable with our offense. I think that our forward lines, we're, we're pretty deep. Um, you know, we didn't make any trades uh, up in, to lose anybody up front. Um, you know, we gained a couple of defensemen that I think are going to help us. Uh, and that was an area that defensively I thought we need to play better in our end of the ice. Uh, you know, defense wins. Um, that's the bottom line. And to beat some of the best teams in this league, no matter, you know, our, our league's real tight, but to beat them, you're going to have to be able to defend. And uh, that's the area I think that we have to get better at. Uh, obviously, fine-tune the specialty teams. I think our power play needs. It was clicking earlier, but now it's dropped off. So that's got to get better, and uh, our penalty kill has to continue to be uh, a big part of our game. Fifth meeting between these two teams this season, and you're looking for your first win. It's just kind of gone Brockville's way, but I do believe the last game in Kempfield, the overtime game, that you might have deserved a better fade except for that goaltending. Yeah, um, yeah, Mr. and Johnson, uh, yeah, know. he was fantastic. I think our guy was good too. I think it was a really even game. We had our chance to win, and uh, late in the game, he made some saves that were difference makers. Uh, but so did our guy. Uh, at the end, they beat us with a, a little bit of a trick play on the three-on-three. -three, um, you know, where one guy goes onto the bench and the other guy comes off the other end, and our D didn't see him behind him. And they got a breakaway and scored. So. Might have been too many men on the ice, to, to be honest with you. But uh, needless to say, to yeah, needless to say, it was a pretty neat little play. And uh, it was funny. About three days later, I seen the exact same attempt by somebody in uh, an NHL game, and the ref called too many men on the ice. So uh, uh, I won't let uh, them get away with it this time if it happens. But I'm sure we'll be prepared for that. Thanks for doing this. As always, good luck tonight. No Thank you, Ron Tognetti, your Campbell 73s.